The Fundamentals of Hand Reaming. What is reaming? Reaming is the process of using this multi-flute tool to create a precise hole. And it's, it's making an existing hole, a drilled hole, bigger than it already is. When you drill, usually your tolerances are plus a couple of thou, minus a couple of thou. Whenever you're reaming, you have plus or minus a few tenths. When you drill, if it drills at an angle, you are going to ream at that angle because the reamer is going to follow your drilled hole. So that's just something to keep in mind. Reaming is used for dowels and fixtures and just close tolerance holes. If you have to have a super precise hole, you might want to look at doing it on the CNC mill with circle interpolating with an end mill, or you might want to grind it out. But if it's something that needs to be plus or minus a few tenths just for a dowel so you can press it in or it needs to be a slip fit, then reaming is a great way to go. It has, as you can see, it has multiple teeth on this tool and that's just so that the chips don't influence the finish on the reamer while it's reaming it anyway. Now, whenever you're reaming a hole, you want to have material left inside that hole for it to cut. Typically, that's gonna be five to 18 thou a side. Now, you'll hear different machinists say different things. The main thing is the hole needs to be smaller than your reamer so it has some material to cut. You don't wanna to have too much material. Typically, I like to leave five to eight thou a side and uh, slow your reamer way down. So if you're drilling at a thousand spindle speed, you wanna slow it down to 350 to 400 you're gonna go a lot slower with your, with your spindle when it comes to reaming. You also you wanna use oil so that you can have a better finish and it'll keep your tool sharp. You can buy reamers of all different sizes. You can buy them with five tenths increments for all your different dowel size holes. And they sell them and you can buy custom reamers. And so they sell them in every dimension that you can imagine. That is all that you really need to know when it comes to reaming. You wanna drill it smaller, have your spindle speed going slow, make sure that you're tight on your chuck, and it's going to follow your drilled hole. So again, if, you drill at, at, if you're drilling really fast and it starts to lead off at an angle, then your reamer is going to ream at that angle. You can stub up on your reamer as much as you can, to keep it as rigid as you can, and that will help a little bit. But for the most part, if you do want it, if you want it to follow the, the drilled hole, then you can just hold on to a half inch or so of your reamer on your chuck, tighten up on it, and let it just follow the hole. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our video for reaming on a manual mill.